I love a curry on a Friday night. Now I'm going to show you how to make a masala curry using some lean diced beef. This is a very simple recipe. So we've got some garlic, chili ginger, some spices that you need. Indian spices are lovely. We've got some turmeric, some coriander and some cumin. We're going to get our meat browned off. When we're browning off the meat, try not to do it in uh, too big a batch. Keep the batches relatively small. And just while we're searing that off, give it a light season. We're going to get onto our onion prep here. You don't have to be too fine with your dice here. Nice chunky dice, it's a bit of a rustic style curry. So we're aiming to get a really good colour onto that beef. That's the kind of colour we're after there. Nice golden brown colour. This is one of those fantastic recipes that you can prepare in advance. Put it in the fridge for a little while while you're waiting and then chuck it in the oven when you're ready to get it cooking. It only takes about two hours, so if you're organised enough, have it ready for three o'clock, chuck it in the oven and it'll be ready for dinner. Diced beef is one of those cuts of meat that always comes from the secondary cut, so you do need to spend a bit of time cooking them. All the meat comes out of the pan when you've done that. A little bit more oil in there. Then we get our onions in. So what's going to happen here, the natural moisture from the onions will come out and lift all those caramelised flavours off the bottom of the pan, so your onions will colour a bit quicker than, than they normally would. This of course is a good thing. If you feel your onions are a bit dry there, don't be afraid. A little bit more oil. So I've got the heat down quite low now. That's just so we can do these onions nice and slow, get them nice and soft and release all those sweet flavours out of the onions. So when your onions are nice and soft, we're going to get the, uh, the garlic and the chilli and the ginger in. Just to open up all the, the flavours there, get the garlic a bit soft and then we'll get our spices in. First there's the garlic, chilli and the ginger. Now if you want your curry a little bit hotter, use a bit more chilli. If you really like garlic, use some extra garlic. So you can really smell those flavours coming out now. The ginger is, is really nice, the garlic, one of those really wonderful smells. And the chilli just kind of gets you in the eyes a little bit. So the spice is going now. The idea of putting all the spices into the pan now is so that we can open up those flavours, get more of a roasted spice flavour as opposed to the, the normal plain spice flavour. Just adds a nice element to the dish. And if your pan starts to dry up, just put a little bit more oil in. So those dry spices really don't take much time. We turn our meat to the pan. All the meat in. And the natural juices from the meat will help deglaze that pan. And we've got some tin tomato and some water. If you're after a really rich curry, use some beef stock. At this stage, I'm going to add a little bit more salt, not too much. And then at the end, we'll adjust the seasoning just to make sure it's right. So at this point, you can leave it on the stove to cook for about an hour and a half to two hours. Or you can move it to the oven if you've got an oven-proof dish, or even a slow cooker. The curry's been going for about an hour and a half now. We're going to finish it off with a little bit of yogurt and some ground masala. And we're going to cook for about 30 more minutes. The yogurt's just going to thicken this sauce up and it's going to add a nice depth of flavour. I'm not going to use all of this. I want to keep some to, to serve it with. Very interesting spice, ground masala. It's going to add real character to this curry and make it what it is. One of the wonderful things about curry is it's always good in the next couple of days. So our curry, just about there. This would be a great little introductory curry for those who aren't familiar with the spices of curry too much. You know, it's one of those subtly spiced curries. It'd be wonderful with some rice. So I think one of the, the fantastic things about 
about Indian food or Indian curries is the way the flavours really layer up. You've got the spicy curry, some nice subtle yoghurt that helps tone down all those heats. And then you've got things like rice and papadums for texture. So we're going to finish this off. We've got some yoghurt that we had left, some fresh chilli and some coriander leaves. And there we have our Indian style beef masala curry.